We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 8 Where do you go when you sleep? Part 1 of 3 June 29, 2009 Our day was full enough as it was, but it didn't end with just tagging those things next door. I remember waking up at around 11 o'clock at night to the commotion downstairs. Lizzie and I had finished off a bottle an hour before. From all the shouting, I thought we were being attacked. I grabbed my Beretta and stumbled downstairs. Tipsy or not, I was still planning on putting up a fight. How the hell did they get here? Riley. Who's... Oh, they must have followed Saul back. I don't know. Don't yell at me. It's not my fault. Can I go now? No. Shut up and stay where you are. I'll deal with you later. Should we ignore them? Maybe they'll just go away. From the sound of it, they know we're here. Maybe because we're the only building around with lights on. Nothing we can do about that now. Who's here? What's going on? Are we being attacked? No, not that bad. Oh, I don't know. This might be worse. Well, I heard shouting, so I grabbed my burrita and... Whoa! Smells like somebody hit the bottle hard tonight. Riley, are you... No! She means yes. Come on. Give me that. I don't, I don't want you waving around a pistol. I can still shoot. Damn it, Angel. Forget about Riley, will ya? What the hell do we do about these people? Look, just, let's just stay up here. Maybe they'll lose interest and go away. Would you just stop saying that? Maybe they'll go away. Maybe they'll go away. You're like a broken record. They ain't moving. Who are they? Survivors? Why don't you... Why aren't you letting them up? Let's just say the Flesh Eaters would be more welcoming than those two. But why are they here? Bert, is there something you didn't tell us about them? No, we took the rig they said was theirs. That's it. I told you everything. There's no way they tracked the rig here. It must have been Saul. Is anybody home? Maybe Saul knows something. I'll go wake him. Wait. Don't go in the stairwell. Maybe they don't know we're up here. We know you're up here. Oh, damn it. What do you know, smart convict? Stay out of this. How do we get rid of him? Maybe we should just kill him. Whoa! At this? From him? Well, sir, just say the word and there. Bert, he's not serious. Does anyone care what my opinion is? No! Are? Michael, I am serious. These people are criminals. Murderers are worse. What's one less, or two for that matter? What's the problem with at least talking to them? If you're going to kill them anyway... Listen, from what Saul told us, there are a lot of survivors from the prison. If we were to kill these two, it could be a huge mistake on our part. It's not like we can easily move to someplace new if more Maulers start looking for their friends. Uh, we might as well talk to him. Bert, you're staying up here. We don't know if they followed anyone back. I mean, they, they could have just come across the lights. And, and you can cover us from the peephole if something happens. Hey, do you want me to come with you? Angel, get your boots on. Being in uniform just might buy us some credibility. But take your name tape off. Why? One less thing for them to know. Oh, good call. Michael, should I... Seriously? Riley? Just sit down. You want me to do the talking? Or being higher in command, do you think you can handle this one, sir? Say whatever you want to them. Somebody's coming. It's about time. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. Good. Because I was starting to lose interest. See? I told you. Shut up! Hey! That's no way to treat a guest. Not you. So... Are you gonna open up or what? I can hear you just fine from here. It would be so much friendlier if we spoke in person. We are in person. I, I mean face to face. Tell us what you want. We want to talk with you face to face. We're unarmed. We left our guns at the door Yeah? All... And how'd you get past the security door? It wasn't hard, especially when you left the code on the door. Who the hell forgot? <sighs> Look, all we want to do is talk. We have a proposition for you. They don't sound very hostile. Maybe Bert was wrong about them. Michael! What is it? They're telling the truth. They're unarmed. That's all. Michael, this is a bad idea. You can't trust them. Sir, are you ordering me to not talk to them? We don't even know what they want. What's with you? I just know that this is a bad idea. But if you say so. 
do it. You seem to be calling all the shots nowadays anyway. We will be armed, but we won't draw down on you. Is that understood? Yeah, that's fine. See? What's the harm? There now. See? We're not armed or nothing. What do you want? Might we have a cup of sugar? Sis, come on. Out with it. You didn't go through all this trouble for nothing. What? No introductions? We don't care who you are, so what's the point? Such hostilities for people you've never met before. Although, you do look somewhat familiar. What's your name? Doesn't matter. Get to the point. Yes, well, see, we were sent by Mr. Durai with a proposition. Who? Mr. Who? Durai. He was wondering if he might be able to establish a relationship with you all on this tower and maybe relocate some of our personnel. Well, why would you want to come here? We are a group of survivors that are looking for a safer place to live. And we came across this place. Survivors? Is that what you call yourselves? Yeah. What would you call us? Well, there's plenty of other buildings around here. Why don't you just go to one of those? You have already secured this one. Run electrical throughout the building. And must have a generator big enough to supply the floors with power. A few more people wouldn't hurt now, would it? Well, just how many is a few? Sergeant! Hard to say but we wouldn't be a burden. What else do you have in here? I'm sure we could help you people out. So what do you say? Well... No, I don't think that's something we'd be willing to do. And why is that? Because of who you are. We know. Take it easy, will ya? Oh, and we know who you are too. The hell you do! After we gave you that tanker, I would think you would have been more grateful. Gave? Really? Regardless of who you think we are or were, we need someplace safer to live. Oh, we're getting real now. No more BS coming or going across the table. Oh, we followed your guy on a scooter back here after he came to our place. We lost some good men after he led those things right to our doorstep. And aren't you glad we didn't do the same? Sis. Hey, that's not what he told us. Well, then he lied to you. Well, I trust his word over yours. We know you obviously think of us as bad people. Yeah, killers and thieves and murderers. Yeah, we get it. But wouldn't you want some of us on your side? Out here, I'd think I'd be a resume builder. Things no spineless show would know how to do. What we did before, that's behind us now. Look, after all that's happened, don't we deserve a second chance? Yeah, you can have your second chance, just not with us. So that's a no. Well, we're looking after our own people and keeping them safe. And how many is that? I don't know. Lost count a while ago. So you won't let any of us stay with you? We don't know you people well enough to let you into our home. Sorry. Are you sure we don't know each other? Blonde boy over there looks pretty damn familiar to me. What's your name? Who? Ain't We've you? never met before. Oh. But I never forget a face, or a name. And yours is... None of your business. I think we're done here. So what should we go back and tell our boss? That you were hostile towards the idea? I don't think he's going to appreciate that. Top shit! Angel! Time. We need some time first to think about it. You can go back and tell that to your boss, okay? Well, all right. I'll let him know. See you around, Angel. See ya, Scarface. Uh-huh. Michael, why- Wait, wait till we get upstairs before you say anything. You said my name. Thanks. I'm sorry, I had to deal with three crazy people down there. Bert, were you watching? We could see and hear everything. All right, first thing in the morning, get that combo change and off the front door. Why not talk about the most pressing issue? They were sizing us up. Oh, you caught that. 
I tried to do the same, but the short one realized it pretty quick. Sizer? They were trying to find out what kinds of things we have in the tower, and what our numbers are like. Recon. At least we know how many they have. They have no idea about us. For all they know, we could be filled to the brim with people. I was trying to find out more about them, but Angel here was flipping out. What the hell is wrong with you? You totally lost your cool down there when I needed you. We're dealing with scum, and you want me to be all happy and welcoming? What do you expect from me? Professionalism, at least. Look, it doesn't matter anymore. They're gone. Yeah, but for how long? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a while. How's that? Well, from what I see on the monitors, they have my guns from the shop still. And it looks like not a lot of ammo. And? Until they know what we have here, or how many, it's not like they're gonna try anything stupid. They don't have the munitions for something like that. These people are crazy. How can you put reason into anything they do? So what do we tell everyone? Oh, I have a feeling everyone will know by morning, with her right here. What? You forgot I was still here? You told me not to move. Oh yeah, her. Well, she's out of the tower anyway, what does it matter? We should have sent her away with these two. Would have saved us some trouble. You can't do that. Excuse me, but I have not violated any of your rules. Oh, yes, you have. You fell asleep while you're on duty. You really don't know how bad that is, do you? Yes, well, I know your rules very well, and if you look closely at them, you'll notice I haven't violated a single one. Fine, I'll look. But I swear, if there isn't one now, there will be. And if anyone falls asleep from here on out, their ass is out of here. Kelly, you'll be in charge of making sure everyone gets the message. Now get upstairs. All right. But she's on duty until 4 a.m. Who should- I'll watch it, okay? I got a lot weighing on me right now. It's not like I could sleep anyway. Oh, I'll stay too. I'm not tired. No, you two. Bert, you coming? Slowly, but with Shirley. <laughs> Michael, we're still on for- Yeah, this doesn't change anything about tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow? Not now, Riley. Got it. I won't cry. Here, I still have some left. Take the weight off. <laughs> yeah, I need to stay sober while I'm on watch, but thanks for offering. Uh, sometimes you just need to relax a bit and live from day to day. Well, there's a time and a place for that. This isn't it. Suit yourself. <clears throat> you know... I was looking at something in my store the other day that really messed with my mind. What's that? Well, all the eggs and milk are all gone, along with a bunch of other perishable food. So I started organizing it by expiration date. Well, that doesn't sound that strange. We have two years, Michael. At least that's when all the food expires. From the last can of mixed vegetables to the last cup of instant noodles. Then, we're out. I'm not talking about here, in the tower, but everywhere. No one's making anything new. And I don't want to sound mean to pigs, but that garden of hers will never grow enough for all of us to live off of. So, just made me wonder. What happens if this all lasts until then? When it's all gone. Well, like you said, sometimes you just have to live for today. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <coughs> oh. Now I remember why I didn't like gin. Uh. Uh. Okay. That's all for me. For now, anyway. Best case, honestly. What do you think happens here? What, you mean here, like the tower, or out there? Well, both. I don't know. It depends on a lot of things. They could freeze when winter rolls around, but I don't know if it gets that cold here in California. I guess I sort of always figured we could outlast them somehow. And now, there's two showing up. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> we only have one bottle. Well, well, okay. <laughs> Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive.
And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, and Jenna McCombie. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Wayland. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Salk, and K.C. Wayland. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions.